everyone are fine that's good and i hope everyone are enjoying the science classes okay so in the previous sessions we have seen uh, regarding digestion right so in today's class we are going to learn one of the important concept of basic needs what are these basic needs i think we have already discussed that there are three main basic needs for human being what are those the first one is food and the second one is cloth and the third one is shelter dear children so out of all these three basic needs we are going to discuss about the cloth why because we have already discussed about food in the previous session so in today's class we are going to discuss about the cloth okay now tell me about cloth what are the different types of clothes that you wear you have any idea okay great so we are going to discuss about the cloth here children so you can imagine whenever we want to go to school what type of dress do we wear we will be wearing school uniforms right we will be wearing school uniform great and whenever we want to go to bed what type of uh, clothes do we wear definitely at night we will be wearing night shoes right and at the same time whenever we feel free and whenever we have free time at home what type of clothes do we wear we will be wearing comfortable clothes in which we can comfortably sit at one place or we can do any of the other things right so for all these purposes will be very different kinds of clothes dear children and even not only like that whenever there is a change in the season we will also change our clothes right so before that just see what are the different seasons that we have we have mainly three seasons one is summer season then rainy season and then winter season right so preferably during summer we will be wearing the light colored clothes dear children we will be wearing light colored clothes but when it comes to rainy season what type of clothes will we wear we will be using coat right this is not my the rainy coat are you able to understand children so that will be protecting us from the rain right and come to the winter what type of clothes do we wear we will be wearing the dark colored clothes okay we will be wearing dark colored clothes right so even in this season itself we can see that we are using different kinds of clothes here clear children and what is the need of wearing all these different kinds of clothes is there any use from this yes definitely so if it takes some now we will be experiencing a lot of heat right so much of hot will be there during that time so if you wear light colored clothes that will be protecting from i mean that will be protecting us from heat and that will keep us to be cool okay and when it comes to rainy season if these rainy coats will be helping us from the rain so which will prevent us to become wet and such that we will be dry here so when it comes to winter we will be using dark colored clothes what is the use of this dark colored clothes so during winter we know that right we will be feeling so cold right so this one will be avoided or it will be prevented by wearing this dark colored clothes now we have seen the different clothes and why do we wear it but we have to study one more main thing that how does this clothes will be prepared okay now let us see the how we are going to make this clothes dear children that's good so when it comes to how do we prepare the clothes we have to learn about the fibers what are the fibers and there is one more word that is fabric what is this fibers and fabric okay now if you worry i think you might see the cloth right so the cloth is prepared by the piece of cloth okay so the cloth which we wear 
that is before we stitch before we get stitch so that will make a piece of cloth right so that will we can call it as fabric and this fabric will be made up of the fibers like you can say the thin strands will be there okay so that thick strands will be there first okay thin strand which is combination of two or three fibers so those combination of two or three fibers we can also call it as yarns and these yarns will be processing around more than two or many fibers will be there clear so fibers will be used as to yarns and yarns will be forming the fabric and these fabric will be used in order to trigger the clothes is this clear children good now let us talk about something related to the fibers so these fibers that will be two different types based on the source from where do we get these fibers okay that will become a big question mark let us solve that also okay so let us see these fibers fibers when we are obtaining from two different sources okay what is from the nature okay this nature includes plants and animals plants and animals and the other source is that is nothing but man made man can directly prepare the fibers okay so one thing is the fibers will be made from the nature that nature includes either plants and animals okay but when it comes to the second case even the human being directly he can prepare the fibers that is called man made or we can also call this man made fibers as synthetic fibers synthetic fibers is this clear children now let us see this natural fiber nature i mean now uh, the fibers which are obtained from the nature so those are called as natural fibers what are these natural fibers the fibers which are obtained from the nature okay here nature includes plants and animal so we can define it as the fibers the fibers which are which are obtained which are obtained from plants and animals are called what do you call this very good we will call this as are called natural
printing only one yarn will be there. With the use of only one yarn, if we make a fabric, that process is called as knitting. And if we use more than one yarn, and if you make the fabric, that process is called as weaving. Is this clear, children? And let us pause this video so that we will be getting the clear idea about these fibers. Okay? Good. Fiber and fabric. Kurtas, pajamas, trousers, shirts, shorts, and vests. Clothes are of many kinds. But what are clothes made of? Clothes are made of fabrics. Fabric is made up of thin threads called yarn. When a cloth is made by two threads crisscrossing together, the method is called weaving. When a single yarn is twisted into a series of loops to make cloth, it is called knitting. Each yarn has long and very thin strands called fibers. Fibers are natural or man-made. Fibers obtained from plants and animals are natural fibers. Cotton and linen are made from plants. Wool and silk are made from animals. Fibers made by man are called synthetic or man-made fibers. Examples are nylon and polyester. Clothes need to be washed well to remove the sweat, dirt and stains. Woolen and silk clothes are easily attacked by small insects such as moth and silverfish. They should be stored with moth balls or dried neem leaves to keep the insects away. Woolen coats and trousers should be dry cleaned to prevent damage. Hope it was nice to learn about clothes. Clothes are precious. Take good care of your clothes. Hope you are clear with the concept clothes we wear. Thank you children. Bye-bye.